All right, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up Photoshop, go ahead and type out a word you wanna work with, and I'm gonna highly recommend that you use a script style font rather than something like a sans serif. It's just gonna flow a lot better, and Adobe Firefly is gonna work with it. If it's sans serif, it's gonna look like crap. The font that I'm using is called Calgary Script OT. Once you're happy with your typography, go ahead and save it as a JPEG. Then head on over to Adobe Firefly and hit Create with Firefly. As soon as you're in text to image, go ahead and type out dripping red watery ketchup splatter, smooth with no texture, minimal highlights, 2D, low saturation, isolated on white background and hit generate. That will take us into the Firefly workspace. And we already have some cool images to possibly work with. We wanna go a step further by making some adjustments. First, go to Aspect Ratio and click on Widescreen. Then we can go ahead and hit Generate again and create some more images. And now we have some cool splatters to work with. I'm gonna go ahead and download this one. And then we're gonna hit Generate a few more times until we get a couple different variations. The idea is you want something that looks less ketchup-y and more blood-like. As soon as you have a few different variations, we can go into the composition section, click on it, and then we're just going to basically import our typography. As soon as that's imported, we now need to import our style. So we're gonna to go to our style section and then import some of those downloads that we saved earlier. As soon as that's uploaded into Firefly, we're gonna make some more adjustments. We're gonna click on our photo for content type. And then we're gonna go back down to the strength in our composition section and turn that all the way up. We can also mess around with the visual intensity and strength. Then we're ready to hit generate. And like that, we have some blood splatter styled typography. And after hitting the generate button about 10 times, I was finally able to get what I was looking for. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.